Today, we're going to be taking a look at this, the 360 pod from New Direction. So for starters, it comes in a nice carry case like so. And as you can see, flat profile, so it doesn't take much room in the car. Stick it on a barrel, it's nice and easy as a luggage item. There's nothing worse than something that doesn't quite slot in a place where there's a bit of space. And this should just fit perfectly, maybe even you're just sliding it into your uh, chair or something like that. It's easy to transport. So if we open this up and see what we've got inside. So we've got two compartments. The first one being the main pod itself and all of which is held in place with uh, elasticated Velcro tabs. So if I just undo these, I can then take the main pod out, like so. Flip over this padded divider, and we've then got the, the crossbar sections, as it were. So again, Velcro retaining tabs. Let's undo all of these. As you can see, there's lots of them, so nothing's gonna be rattling around during transit, knocking the, anything that's valuable in there, or getting any damage. And the last of them, So, so there you go, there's the carry bag, hit myself in the chin, and there's the uh, pod as a whole. So to start with, how you set it up. So this is the pod on itself. It's nice and low profile, as I just said, and it's got a bit of a, a unique design in how this sets up. So to start with, you unloose, well, loosen these cogs here, or these little screws, and you've got a cog system where you can choose what angle you want your legs to come out at. For now, I'll just make them at right angles, which is more of your traditional shaped pod and do that on the other side as well so as you can see it's pretty quick to set up there's no screwing legs in it's just a case of undoing this cog system tighten it back up and there we are we've got the the main base of the pod ready this is where you get your crossbars now on here i've actually already got some little quick plates and uh, the magnetic butt rests on here already i'll get onto that in a second but to then secure them in place on here just loosen the um, uprights on these, line them up with the threads, and start twisting them on. And tighten them up once again. So there you go, pod is pretty much done. That's in its basic format. Now you can also adjust this in a few other different ways. So the firstly, you can loosen the middle bars and extend the pod lengthways. You can make it nice and long if you want to, or keep it as a nice compact little pod, like so. Just for ease of filming, I'll keep it in its shortest state for now. And you've also got the adjustable uprights, so for loosen them back up, you can raise and lower them as you desire. So you can have the butts up, tips down, or, or however you want. So if you've got an uneven bank, you can adjust it like so. But that's not the most unique part of this design, because as you can see, the uprights or the crossbars have these little adjusters on them as well. Now the reason for them is because if I adjust the cog setup on the bottom to lean it inwards like so or outwards, you can do it either way you want. If I do it inwards slightly, so say I want to spread the legs out slightly more, I'll do it on the same on the back, like so. I may then find that my bite alarms or things are are not at the right angle, which if I just grab some, I've just done a video on these N9, uh, N1 alarms, sorry. So if you want to see that, please check the link in the description below. And it's sure it'll come up at the end of the video as well if you want to see about these alarms. But as you can see, they're now at an odd angle. So you adjust these little screws here and you can tilt them so the back straight. Same on this side, loosen these little screws and adjust there. So I've now got straight uprights on both the butts, butt end and the alarm end. And that can be used on either direction, as I just said. So if I loosen this back up and tilt it that way, for example. So if you want to make your pod even longer, especially if you're extending it from the actual mainframe as well, twist it and again, straighten it back up so that they're now upright. So that means that your rod is always positioned how the alarm is designed to hold a rod. Your, your line will be going through the runner properly, be held in nice and secure. It's just a nice way of making sure that everything is always nice and level. Now, that's a bit of an odd setup at the moment, so I'll twist this one to match the fronts. Like 
like so and again loosen and twist now these can go all the way around so uh, even if you go at a really extreme angle and you want to get the pod really nice and low you can do so tighten it back up once again and you're sorted so it's a bit more of a I don't know, hammock shaped pod if you like that's how I had it yesterday sitting on the platform because I had the pin uh, the points of the legs sitting perfectly in the cracks on the platform it doesn't just have to be on platforms of course with pods you can put them anywhere but uh, that's the main basics of the pod and it's made of aluminium so even with the alarms on at the moment I know they're tiny alarms it weighs next to nothing I'm able to hold it upright in one hand it's not weighing me down it's nice and lightweight so if you're looking for a lightweight pod which is nice and sturdy then this is uh, definitely worth a look at but the one thing that pods don't always have going in their favor is complete stability especially fishing in certain situations where you just need to have your pod as sturdy as possible so I'm just going to put this pod back into its more traditional upright position and as you can see just with me filming this how quick and easy it is to adjust this pod to exactly how you want it to look it's not taking me ages with thumb screws or little adjustments as quick as what probably 20 seconds I've now adjusted that all the way back to pure uprights and nice and solid and also it was worth noting that there's also uh, little locking collars here on the on each side of like the, the butt rest and the alarm so if you want to screw your alarm in you know what it's like sometimes your, your alarm becomes tight when it's facing off at a stupid angle but you can adjust these locking collars because look just like this if I wanted that tight I've got to keep twisting it around it's facing the wrong direction but I want to get it about there facing where it needs to be twist up that locking collar and there we go it's now nice and secure my alarm is in place but moving on there's also another little purchase you can get which is just behind me which is the stabilizers now these is a set of two in here nice and simple design I just pull them out comes with two oh excuse me comes with two heavy duty pegs and you've also got these little adapters here as well so if I pick up the front end again get this little adapter attach it onto the leg of the front or back whichever way you wherever you want to put it screw that nice and tight so it's snug onto the bank stick and by the looks of it they're fairly universal so uh, even if you didn't have this pod but you're looking for some kind of stabilizer you could fit this onto probably most bank sticks it's quite a wide uh, bore on the actual adapter there we are so spin them around so they're actually the right way around facing outwards there we go so once they're secure on there nice and tight on the bars there's a little hole as you can see on these adapters and that is where the pegs then go in onto the ground so if I put the pod down to the floor put the pegs down through those holes until they hit the uh, adapter themselves oh, the ground's a bit tough here There we go, the pod is now secured to the ground. So trying to rock it left and right, it's not moving. Obviously I still pick up the back end because I haven't got the stabilizers on there, but the front end is what's gonna be getting most of the abuse. If you've got like a quite a savage take to left or right, which is when a pod can tip over. And if you've got a ground like this, then nice and secure. And if we pull on that, it takes a lot of force me to eventually pull this out of the ground so uh, I don't think any carp take is going to be any more violent than what I just was and if it is then I don't think you've got a carp on the end it's probably going to be a catfish so uh, that is just a nice little addition to making your pod nice and stable of course that's not going to work perfectly on a uh, platform setup I'm sure you can sort some kind of screwed system but on a softer ground like this or rocky ground the heavy duty pegs will go straight in and that's just how they work so that connects to the the legs of the pod as I said and that then goes through and pushes into the ground and holds it nice and secure like so. So there is everything you need to know about the 360 pod other than the price and again you're going to be nicely surprised that this comes in obviously taking away the alarms and the butt rests just the pod on its own comes in at £79 so really not breaking the bank and then if you want to get the stabilizers which comes as a set of two, you're looking at £14.90. So for a pod and a couple of stabilizers that comes as a set for under £100, 
you're on to a winner. Of course, if you want more information, please do head over to the New Direction website. And as of all New Direction items, they are available to purchase from Amazon directly on Amazon Prime usually. So you can get this next day delivery. So it's nice and easy. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to us if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on all the social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen right now. But for now, that's all from me. So cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.